Yeah. This program that we are establishing together is for uh, these Web2 and Web3 startups mm. to integrate and work and co-create with XTC for payments. payments. Payments, even though it is still finance, it's, I would say, a very separate niche area. Let's talk a bit about this very unique and different program that we are establishing. Yeah. The payments program. Yes. So the, and maybe I can talk a bit more about how plug and play has been working in the payment space. So plug and play, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the most active mm -hmm. investors in the world. But we are also one of the world's largest innovation platforms. What that means is we power innovation for more than 600 corporations. These are all Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies and more than 50 government agencies globally. And when we talk about an innovation platform, we are talking about an ecosystem. We are ecosystem enablers. We work with corporations like yourselves, we work with governments, where we are coming in mm. to establish an ecosystem where as an enabler, you bring in the, uh, the users and the funders like mm. XTC, but then you bring in startups, you bring in universities, you bring in other corporates, you bring in um, the government agencies, and then all of them work together to establish and run this ecosystem. Hmm. Because you cannot just do a one-time matchmaking and then expect that to thrive. Yeah. You know, you need to keep, you need to make sure this is sustainable. You need to make sure this keeps happening. And just to name a few of the partnerships we've had in the past in this space, we uh, powered the Visa Accelerator program, right. which one of the which is one of the most prominent payments companies. Yeah. We uh, run innovation for BNP Paribas globally, for uh, Kaisha Bank, for more than one hundred uh, banks and insurance firms, and this could be. These are not, mm. not cookie cutter similar partnerships. These are partnerships where divide this into two different parts. One is reactive innovation, where the company knows that this is what we want. Mm -hmm. And instead, instead of hiring developers and creating it, we would rather, uh, you know, white label a startup solution. But on the other side, which this partnership resides mm -hmm. with Plug and Play and XTC is proactive innovation. If I would like to say one objective we have for this program is to make the XTC blockchain better right. by bringing more functionality on it from a payments point of view. Right. That is why we are trying to integrate new functionalities with startups in the payments space. space yeah. In terms of scouting, like mm -hmm. um, you're currently scouting within your own network, like plug and plays mm -hmm. network, right? Obviously, this is a global program that we are running with plug and play APAC. Yeah. Um, so when this program is going to be alive for yes. external yeah. projects or startups to apply directly yeah. uh, via plug and plays, uh, you know, yeah. website. So one thing I would like to clarify is that even though we are calling it a program, mm -hmm. there is no program entry or a cohort or a batch because we don't really think, uh, we, we think that such partnerships have evolved from a batch uh, based cohort now. Mm -hmm. It's more of designing a certain collaboration initiative together mm -hmm. where right now we're in the first phase where we are from our own ecosystem finding the best startups mm -hmm. and proactively reaching out to them and then bringing them on board for potentially to checking to explore how they could work with XTC for this particular initiative. Yeah. On that note, I would like to also mention why startups like to work with Plug and Play. Right. So plug and play is one of the most active investors in the world. Mm -hmm. We invest from our own balance sheet. We, are, we don't have a GPLP structure, which means any startup that we are in touch with and we feel they are a really good uh, investment for us, we will just write a check. Oh, wow. So that I think is a very, very uh, interesting and lucrative uh, proposition for the startup. Mm -hmm. And to top that off, we never ever charge startups anything when we are working with them. When we are sourcing startups for XTC, when we source startups for Visa, for hundreds of other corporates, we source more than 20,000 startups a year. 
yes, only 5% of those are good quality startups, mm-hmm. which end up making into a program or getting invested by us or our partners. But whoever comes into this, they never ever pay any program fee or sweat equity. They will, of course, uh, give equity if we are investing in them. And because we work with so many corporates, if they were, let's say, a, a startup who was going to get in touch with XDC, mm-hmm. to get in touch with XDC and let's say nine other companies, they need to make that effort 10 times. Right. When they are interacting with plug and play, mm-hmm. it's a one to many uh, partnership, right? Mm-hmm. We will help them get connected to 10, 20, 30 corporates, wherever, of course, there is a fit. Right. So that way we see that the startups are very eager and of course forthcoming when they work with us. Mm-hmm. And given that we run such programs on a regular basis, the first uh, segment of our program with XTC is where we are not uh, making the uh, program public yet. Right. In phase one, we are proactively reaching out to startups and finding the best ones from within right. our network. network yeah. Makes sense. This is not a biased reach out. It's not first come, first serve. Mm. It's a win-win for everyone if, let's say, XTC finds 20, 30, 50 startups to integrate with. Mm -hmm. Yes, we want to find the best 10, but if we have best 15, that's a more positive scenario. Yeah, 